seven. According to Ring Magazine, St. Louis, Mississippi, the rule standing eight count is in effect. Three knockdown rule is in effect. You can be saved by the bell only in the final round, scoring on the 10 point must scoring system. Now setting up the strengths and the weaknesses of these two fighters. Here's the chap and the blackboard. You mean Holmes has weaknesses? Chuck out on the boxing blackboard. The strengths of Quinn Navarre are his energetic, youthful will. In the ring, he has good power. His weaknesses, soft whiskers. He has a vulnerable chin, and he fights too tight. He has trouble relaxing in the ring. Can he against Larry Holmes? His strengths, an outstanding jab, one of the best ever. He's very crafty with ring knowledge. His weaknesses, with all aging fighters, he's lost speed. Not trying to impress anymore. He's grown lazy in the ring. Tonight, will he be unmotivated and lazy? Lazy? Me lazy? Larry Holmes, at 46 years old, can outdo any young man. Look, you the one lazy. You the one sitting on the ringside here calling the shots. You should be in the ring fighting at your age. If I was your age, I could fight another 30 years. Come on, lazy. I'm sharp. I can rumble yet. You, can, you, you know I can rumble. That's what lazy is all about when you sit on the side telling people what I'm supposed to be doing. You know, that's the first blackboard rebuttal. You know, he has a point. He's 46 to 35 in great condition. You should get your butt up there. Well, I'm not quite old enough yet to get yeah. my butt up there to work. But uh, in his fights with Evander Holyfield, they say he's had his shots with Oliver McCall. He has really been competitive in those fights. That's why Larry Holmes is still in there today. All right, let's go into the ring now and have the introduction for these two fighters. Ladies and gentlemen, Arthur Palulo's banner promotions in association with Casino Magic, matchmaker Jay Russell Peltz, event coordinator Les Bonanno, and Budweiser, the undisputed King of Beers presents Main event, 10 rounds, heavyweight. Your ring officials assigned by the Mississippi State Athletic Commission, your judges at ringside, all from Biloxi, Mississippi, C.D. Jenkins, Fred Steinwinder III, and the charming Chester Como. Your referee for this event from Destrahan, Louisiana, the elegant Elmo Adol. Introducing now the heavyweight principals first in the red corner to my right, wearing the blue trunks with white trim, blue accessories, weighing in at 226 pounds, his professional record, 17 victories, 3 defeats, he has 1 draw and 12 knockouts, he hails from Metairie, Louisiana, here is Queen Kucho! professional record, 63 victories, 5 defeats, he has 41 knockouts, he hails from Eastern Pennsylvania, the former heavyweight champion of the world, the Eastern Assassin, Larry Quinn, you've both been given your instructions by the commission. I want you to pay attention to my commands at all times. When I say break, I want you to break. Let's shake hands now and come out fighting. Larry Holmes hearing the booze from the crowd. It has not been that way, but tonight he goes up against a local product, and they are out here in force looking for Quentin Navarre to end the career of Larry Holmes, one fight shorter than uh, Holmes wants to go. So Navarre, who will probably go right at Larry Holmes and then find out about the jab. Yeah, that jab is so important. It's one of the best ever in the sport for Larry Holmes. And what Larry has to do is get that jab to get Quentin Navarre to give him the respect that he deserves. They should stay out at the end of his punches. Larry Holmes says uh, he knows Navarro will be coming in again. 
doesn't want to take any chances. We'd like to get him out as quickly as possible. The bar is not going to have one of the most solid of teams. Uh, he describes himself in the ring. He's bobbing, weaving more, looking punches more, and he's more active. His best punch, Navarre says, is his left hook, naturally right-handed, and he boxes in right-handed pants. Larry Holmes says he's wiser in the ring, more flat-footed, and you see that here, he doesn't waste when he punches now. His best shot is the jab. We talked about that, I definitely agree with that. That jab is such a steering tool, and what he's doing right there, he is steering with Navarre over with The 90% of the punches right in the end, that punch will snap that three wants to win. The bar, outstanding tailback at Southern University in Baton Rouge, also a French star. But uh, he always uh, loves the box. Syntec, a full synthetic oil. Closing seconds of round number one. Run Holmes with a nice, sweet uppercut on the inside. Looked like Navarre ran into it. And a little, push. Little, 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 little bit of a push. Although Navarre may have been on his way down anyway. He pushed with the left hand. Well, we're like a lot of people. Now, Les Bonanno in the corner of Navarre telling him you've got to relax. He has a tendency of, of tightening up in the ring. It certainly drains you as the fight goes along, but Bonanno thought that uh, Navarro was looking around up until that point. Warning Navarro, you can't stand there in front of Holmes and not do nothing. And he says, Tyson, Tyson. Four or five, uh, Holmes doesn't look to waste the energy. 
certainly does not use the whole world anymore. Everything is serving. He's doing just enough to try to win every round. I'm trying to win it by a big margin. He's trying to fairly win it. You win it on a 10-9 round. I'm covered by those who might say the star fighter. He says, uh, my skills are certainly diminished, but still have the skills. Still out boxing in the ring. He knows what's in there again. And just taking his time. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that thing there. Painted Navarre completely out of position. Look at that. 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 He's got a jam of his own. He knows how important that jab is. And he's allowing Larry Holmes not only to out jab him, but also to outmaneuver him. He's on the outside. When cars raced at an off. The chance of Pujo, Pujo, the nickname of Quentin Navarre. But where he got that name early in his career as an athlete, they said he was like uh, Pujo, uh, 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 like a dog who just wanted to win. He did everything to win. A lot of energy, a lot of high pace, action, physically strong. Developed in his earlier fights for the bar. 
Kimberly, who knows her boxing, sitting in the stands would be yelling things out to DeMar in between rounds, and he kept looking back away from his trainers. So uh, Jimbo Stevenson and Les Bonanno said, hey, we might as well have Kimberly come up here in the corner and talk to him. Well, in that last round, both of them throwing punches, moving in, look at Holmes, he's throwing them, but also Holmes is catching them. Good combination from Quinn Lamar when, when uh, Elmo Adolph stepped in. I think bad timing for Adolph. Just at that, at that moment. So we're moving to the fourth round of the scheduled 10 round bout. 46 year old Larry Holmes. 47 November 3rd. 28 year old Quinn Savar, who does not want to allow this golden moment in his career to pass by without making a name for himself. Yeah, he, he heard him tell when between rounds, Ben Bernardo said, fight him when you guys don't want to fight. What he's saying there is timing, this timing is when the boy is trying to learn now in his career. The timing to fight a man when he doesn't want to fight. When he wants to fight, you don't fight him. Because Larry in the bar, Larry knows right now he doesn't want to fight. Larry wants to pick apart. He wants to get quit on the outside. He wants to jam. He wants to slow him down. He wants to walk him. And then, later in the round, he may want to pick it up and fight. Well, there's a fighter right there. Oh, yeah. When she's not in there. For better position now, working the way around Les Manano. No, actually, relaxes as much as can look. Like to go back to the corner again. Have somebody like that in the corner. Hold, hands down, giving the bar. And the bar can take advantage. And there is that world championship jab that he has. Look at the speed on that. He's been 46 years old. Thank you. 
said, was in great condition. No way a 46-year-old fighter should be in the ring with somebody who is 28. And you could see the one-time elusiveness of Larry Holmes has basically totally disappeared. And that's the problem that you have when you're a fighter like Larry Holmes, the legend. Everybody's going to fight above their level. They want to fight. This is, their, this is the fight of his life. And, and being outstanding by the boy. Three quick jabs striking Holmes in the face. And there it is again. The bar with a jab. So Holmes gets into this. The play with the jab. So the bar reminded him of getting the jab going again. Now he's here to forgive what you're in there. Look, he's a jab out. I don't know what I'm going to do. goes first in memory out I don't know if it's a great job but can't remember the throw it <laughs> <That's right. laughs> well Larry Holmes who generally has the final say of the opponent we have to refer to it as the Holmes shopping network but Maybe wondering now how Quentin Navarre slipped through. He did, you're right. Yeah, he's been talking to Quentin Navarre throughout. The one when he fought Jesse Ferguson, Ferguson nailed him in the first round. Very quickly, Larry Bradley had read the script. Just saying, you're supposed to lose, you have to win. Uh, he should have said that to Jesse Ferguson. And a wind up in court that he wasn't going to be here. I don't need some fancy cologne to tell me I'm a man. This will uh, come back to Larry Holmes in between rounds. You to standing in his corner. Not tonight. Utilizing the 60 seconds between rounds. And now to start the seventh, though, Larry Holmes showing some spring in the toes. And he was at the end of the fight. He is locked again, turned around by a charging the ball. Working 
seventh in the world. And the bar of all the heavyweights in the world is ranked at number 120. And he's taking this fight into the final round and perhaps uh, casting his fate in the hands of the judges. Larry Holmes, is, Larry Holmes is being uh, very patient here on the set. I think he is winning the fight. Yeah, well, and he's also trying to set up the bar for that right hand. He's failed him a few times. has been brought to you by Budweiser, official sponsor of the 1996 Olympic Summer Games. This Bud's for you. And by Prescription Strength Low Trimmin AF for Athlete's Foot. It's the killer cure. The crowd in great anticipation. They feel that Quinn Navarre, an unknown coming into this fight, has pulled off the victory. Larry Holmes thinks he did enough to win and continue on to his 70th and final fight. But this ha may have been the finale if Navarre gets the victory. If Navarre doesn't get the victory, how do you think this crowd will react? They see it as Navarre easily. Well, they're not going to like it. They are pulling for that man, Quinn Navarre. And no matter what, though, this is a great showing for Quinn Navarre. He showed us what he's made of. All right, we have a decision. Here is Mark Cuto. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision. Judge Chester Como scores it 96-94. Judge C.D. Jenkins scores it 96-94. 94. Judge Fred Steinwinder the third scores it. 97, 92. All to the winner by unanimous decision. Larry.
the third round, I thought it was close, like it was, but I thought Larry just uh, did that one going out. 